I'll watch anything with Vincent Price, but as soon as you throw Christopher Lee into the mix as well, you know that you are going to be getting such a beautiful experience. And that's definitely the case with the Oblong Box. This is a 1969 film directed by Gordon Hessler, based on the short story by Edgar Allan Poe. And the, the, the concept of this is, is pretty interesting. In some ways, I feel like there's too much depth to this and that I wish there were certain plot points they'd stripped back but I will try not to go into too much detail about that without giving any spoilers because it is still a really great film and definitely worth watching. So basically, in fact I'll read the description from IMDb. Aristocrat Julian Markham, played by Vincent Price, keeps his disfigured brother Sir Edward Kept locked in a tower of his house, Sir Edward occasionally escapes and causes havoc around the town. Uh, Edward is played by Alistair Williamson. And basically when he goes outside, his mask causes problems. People start to, you know, actually say things and then look at him. And the character takes a very dark turn and goes a little bit insane and begins to do some very criminal things. You know, it's... um. There's an aspect of the elephant man in the way that he is, be, he is disfigured and will obviously be judged on that and that's why he's being kept locked in the tower. But on the other hand, the character of Edward is a lot different and it's kind of like probably one of the, one of the most fascinating case studies if you want to kind of analyse his character and his behaviour and the way his personality shifts after he has become disfigured. FYI, he is disfigured because um, because of sorcery done by the natives in um, a village he visited in Africa. And that's the bit of it that I thought was kind of too centric to this. Now that sounds weird. You know, I usually prefer narratives to be as developed as possible. I want to know the who, what, where, why, when and how. But with this, I would have preferred it if he was just, I don't know, born with a a facial disfigurement and that had perhaps made him grow in his hatred for other people over the years as he was bullied and then he finally lashed out. I think that would have been more effective. But it's still interesting enough and it doesn't detract from the development of the narrative and how interesting Edward is as a character and how how his behaviour is. Um, I won't say what the oblong box refers to, but it's um it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting as the narrative develops after that point the oblong box uh forget it it's a coffin um you can see it in the poster art the oblong box plays an interesting point in shifting edward's transition from being locked in um the the home of his uh, ancestor's house in in markham house um and it puts him into a different location and suddenly that allows his personality to change because his experiences are shifting and with that so are his reactions. And I think it worked pretty well. It got to the point quite quickly. We got to see Edward developing as an individual really well. Um, bearing in mind he is Sir Edward, an, an aristocrat. This is not what one would expect from him. So the dichotomy there is quite striking. And obviously people are going to view him very differently to the way they would the non-disfigured aristocratic Sir Edward. And I think it's a brilliant study both in terms of his character responses and in terms of the way in which society responds to this kind of thing. But you can also just watch it as a pretty intense horror film. Obviously, given when it was filmed, the you know, special effects and things aren't anything over the top. But it's still... Really good to watch, really enjoyable. Obviously, Vincent Price gives a fantastic performance. Uh, Christopher Lee plays a doctor and he's great in this as well. It's, it's a really good film. I really thoroughly enjoy it and definitely recommend it. I haven't actually read the short story by Poe, so I might do that at some point soon. But the, the, the box itself, the film itself, the oblong box, definitely worth watching if you like horror or Vincent Price or Christopher Lee.